Welcome to the new Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo, set to open to the public in early February 2020. Located on Oak Road East in Gulf Shores, this 25-acre property is ready to relocate animals to their new home in the coming weeks. A huge fountain featuring statues of animals and lush surroundings makes quite an impression as you walk up to the main building. Even though the zoo animals haven't all moved in yet, it's attracting many visitors at the newly opened restaurant called the Safari Club. The restaurant is open daily for lunch and dinner under the culinary leadership of executive chef Greg Bushmol. Outside the Safari Club, tiki torches guide you into the upscale dining room. The furnishings here, as well as the menu, reflect the culture of countries in Asia and Africa where many of the zoo animals originated. The focal point is Bar Tusk, appropriately named with a statue of an elephant bursting through the window overhead. The motto here is saving elephants one drink at a time because a portion of the bar sales is dedicated to elephant conservation. Glass in the bar counter covers a replica of a river with tiny elephants among the stones. The menu prominently displays vegan and vegetarian dishes, along with a wide array of other favorites like seafood and steaks and pizza. The Safari Club motto is proudly serving omnivores, herbivores, and carnivores. The menu is also designed to reflect cuisine outside the United States and gives patrons an opportunity to sample tapas like Chilean beef empanadas, or what we were told is becoming a customer favorite, the cauliflower couscous salad. Be certain to ask about a chef's special that may not be listed on the printed menu. One day we visited, sous chef Emilio Urban had prepared a special dish of bacon-wrapped scallops with winter squash pasta. Yes, ma'am. So tonight we have um, ra fresh raviolis stuffed with winter squash, granana panzano, and I made a Christmas spice rub here in-house. And then with the sauce, we have a tomato fondue with roasted mushrooms, tomatoes, onions, and peppers. And then we have, serving with that, we have New Bedford scallops, U10s, wrapped with our hickory smoked bacon, topped with some marigolds, and some shaved granada panzano on top. The Safari Club is Alabama's first certified green restaurant. It is an energy efficient operation, doesn't use plastic straws, and carry out containers are all biodegradable. It features both indoor and outdoor dining. From the expansive porch overlooking the zoo property, Safari Club patrons can see the grounds still under development and the nearby carousel with a children's playground just beyond it. When leaving the zoo property, patrons once again pass by the Animal Fountain, which by the way already has coins from well-wishers. In just a few weeks, zoo patrons can walk in and see the amazing live animals in the new Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo.